In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make three tone paper options infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide looks. When I click, you can see here one tone paper appears from the bottom. And then I have added a shape on top of that one, which is stapled. And then you can just put your option number there or some icons. And then below you can add the title and the detailed text. As you can see here, I've added the shadow effect also. Then on my next click, it will show the option two with a different shape you can see here. And then this is with the option three. And if you don't want the animation, I have created another slides where without animation, you can see here, I've just given some different style here. You can see some different colors. And then here also you can see here, I've added the same thing for this. And if you want some more darker also, you can just do it. So let's see how to do this in PowerPoint. Add a new slide and change the background to gradient fill. For that, right mouse click, go to format background, under fill, select the gradient fill. By default, you have got the four stops. So I'm just going to use only three. So I'm just going to select one and delete. And type, select radial and direction, you can make it from center. So you can see here the center one, I'm just going to make it white color. And then here the middle one, I'm going to use some light gray color. And the third stop, I'm going to make it somewhat darker color. So you can see here, or you can just adjust it according to your requirement, how much the lighter or darker. Then go to view and uh, enable the grid lines. You can see here the grid lines then go to insert tab under shapes i'm going to select which is the freeform shape you can see here so just click here take the mouse straight you can see here and again click here and then if what is the width you want you can take up to this requirement up to your requirement so i'm just going to click here and i'm going to click one here somewhat smaller than the first one and then you can see here you can just click here and there so that it gives a look of a torn paper so you can see here something i'm just clicking one by one and then you attach it to the first one then shape outline make it no outline and shape fill you can give any color of your choice now I'm going to duplicate this one. So select this uh, shape, press Ctrl D to duplicate this and give the color as white. You can see here, this is white. And if it is not visible clearly, so let me just move this aside so it will be visible. If you feel that this is not visible, you can make this white color maybe somewhat light gray. Okay, now I'm just going to select this and then go to format send this to back so you can see here i've just given this effect and press ctrl d one more time and i'm going to give a shadow effect for that for this i'm going to select a dark color increase the transparency you can see here then you can go to effects under soft edges increase the size you can see here maybe seven i'm going to use it or eight also not a problem and if you feel that you want more transparent you can increase the transparency and i'm going to tilt a little bit and then just put it something like this you can see here and then send this to back so you can see here i've just added the shadow effect for this paper also now if you want to keep this color you can keep this color or you can go to you can see here a uh, picture or texture fill you can select any texture you can you've got a variety of textures you can see here so i'm just going to select this one and then go to the effects and here you can see here artistic effects under art artistic effect whichever you want you can just choose it so i'm just going to select this one you can see here and let me just select all of this or you can press ctrl a also then you can wherever you want you can just bring it and so this is the first shape and the second shape also i'm going to draw so go to insert shapes again i'm going to select the freeform shape so this time i'm going to make a straight one 
so just click it here click it here click it here and then as usual we need to click here and there up and down so that it will give a look of a torn paper you can see here so shape outline make it no outline and using the format painter i'm just going to click it here select this Control d and for this i'm going to give the same white color you can see here again send this to back and then Control d one more time or i can just select this again format painter you can see here tilt a little bit and then send this to back so this is my second option and for third option i'm going to select this press ctrl d you can see here ctrl g to group it and i can just rotate it something like this so my options look something like this so let me just select all of this and then let me just select this so you can see here my basic torn paper uh, effect is ready now it's time to add more shape and the text so you can see here the shadow effect for these two is uh, the right side and for this is the left side because we rotate the shape so let me just ungroup this right mouse click ungroup this and then i'm just going to select this one and I'm going to bend it the other way you can see here and then bring it here then go to insert shapes you can select any shape for example I'm going to select this rectangle here you can see here maybe this much rectangle I'm going to use it let me just make it less curved shape outline make it no outline press ctrl D to duplicate this one I'm going to make it white color and this one I'm going to reduce the size by holding the shift key and bring it in the center something like this and for this also I'm going to give the shadow effect for this white duplicate it first change the color to black increase the transparency level and increase the soft edges also and this also I'm just going to bend it a little bit and send back you can see here here uh, you can add a kind of a one staple for that go to insert shapes select the line just add the line something like this this is not visible because this is blue color you can increase the width of the line you can see here i can just increase it and if you want you can give some gradient fill also gradient fill maybe i'm going to use a uh, gray color then i'm going to use maybe a black color let me just delete one and maybe i can use some white color combination also and you can just select whichever way you want this one so and then just select that one and put it in the center so it should look something like this so this is the staple now if you want you can just select this design and copy it here or you can go to insert shapes and select any design or shape you want for example i'm going to select this one hexagon again press ctrl d to duplicate it you can see here first of all remove outline make it white color this color i'm going to choose maybe some orange no outline reduce the curl size put it exactly in the center and i'm going to select the white and again you can give the same shadow effect black increase the transparency and increase the soft edges you can see here and then just send this to back now i'm going to copy this staple press ctrl d and add it here now again as your wish you can add it the same thing or something different also for for the meantime let me just add the same color oh, sorry same shape but i'm going to change the color of the shape so you can see here now it's time to add the text 
to add the text go to insert text box here i'm just going to type 01 center align the font i'm going to choose is called the hand of scene you can see here increase the size put it in the center and make it white press ctrl d to duplicate this this is make it two and ctrl d and this would be our third option you can see here and then again go to insert text box you can add your title here again i'm going to select the same font which is the hand of scene you can see here center align and then you can add some detailed text so again the same font i'm going to use the hand of scene reduce the size maybe you can give uh, black color or some other color let it be black color not a problem center align this you can see here and i'm going to select both of this press ctrl d add it for the other options as well so you can see here our design is ready let me just remove the guidelines or the grid lines so you can see our final design and if you want you can give a simple animation to it that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye